this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Man, we had a real great Bible study this morning. We talked about Romans 6 that says to be cardinally minded as death or be spiritually minded as life and peace. We talked about the fact is that we really did uh, dig down into the scriptures, the, the, the challenge of things that goes against all of us for the peace of mind. The peace of mind is it passes all understanding. And we, we, we focus on the fact that the last week that we're no longer under the law. You know, I love some people say they want the law. We have to have the law because we need these guardrails. And we already realize from history, those guardrails have fallen, have failed to keep us to do the right thing. But the guardrails of love, John 13, 34, so this is a new commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So we, <laughs> we want to be able to start operating in love, man, love for one another. See, Romans 8 verse 1 said, there's now therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We even know the fact is that in, 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 the, in the scriptures that you're going to see in the Bible study, we even know the fact is that those are in the flesh cannot please God and that the laws of God are not subject to them. Oh, that's a marvel thing for people to understand. We try to put the law on people, but the laws of God is not subject to those who are in the flesh. Being carnally minded, you are not under the laws of God because you're already condemned. This is talking about having a eternal life in Christ Jesus. Those who don't believe in eternal life, they're already condemned. Those who don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, they're already condemned. But those of us who have received Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. And we're not, we're not cardinally minded, but we're spiritually minded, and spiritually minded being word minded. So really take a look at the study that we did today, this Sunday, and I guarantee you'll love it. And the other piece we found out too, and I want to study a little bit more that I want you to study on with me as well, look into it until the next time we talk, is the difference between feeling and believing. See, John 3.16 says, To God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he interested the fact he said, believe, right? And then we talk about feelings. And, and the fact is that sometimes we feel like something ain't right. We sometimes say we, we may believe some people, I believe people think in this way about me, but you don't really, you have nothing, your foundation of belief is not in believing in God, but believing in your feelings, and your feelings, in most cases, is based derived from your senses. And then if you go by your senses, and which means your flesh, Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. So let's think about that and study that a little bit more. I want you to meditate on until the next time we, we have a study. Feeling versus believing. I really believe and believe in God, not believe in my ability, not believe in your ability, not believe in the world ability, not believe in man's ability. See, even we have a situation dealing with racism. <laughs> Somebody's believing in their flesh. The son that believe in the flesh, but the, the, the of superiority based on their white. Some believe in the flesh based on superiority of, the, of being black. Those beliefs has weak foundations. Believing in God has the power and the might of God. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next Sunday. We also have Thursday night videos, a live session, so you're welcome to join there as well. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight, and don't forget we love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. It was great study. Please take time to look at it. All right. Hope you enjoy the videos. Bye. <laughs>
a uh, afternoon Bible study with uh, Sherman Elliott. Uh, oh, okay. Well, it was virtual. It was it was from uh, First Baptist, and it it was interesting. They posed the question. What should someone do when they don't feel like they're saved? Yeah, come on, come on. Now that's what mm -hmm. we want to. It kind of fall in line with what I want to talk about. Yeah, so it was interesting, and uh, someone said, you know, feelings ain't got nothing to do with being saved, which I agree with because that's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> you know. Uh, you can't go by your feelings. No, you know, because sometimes you you feel like giving up. Hey, well, you know, and that's let's talk about that. To tell you the truth, I wanted that's part of what I wanted to uh, cover. You you see the slide, right? You see, you see my slide. Oh, I think the phone going to have to be the. Be the See my main backup today. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're gonna go ahead and cover it. Cause I, I wanted to what you were saying is lines up what I'm talking about. First of all, we we'll said last week we we'll said Romans eight, right? Yeah. Verse. Uh, and we did. We did. The fact is that as I was focusing on, on that part about verse two, was that that we are no longer under the law. Correct. Matter of fact, I show it on the slide here we press where, wherever the enemy try to mess us up we still press we said right there in Romans 8 we, we, we start off that there is therefore now no condemnation which are them that Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit amen amen and the fact is, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus made me free from the law of sin and death. We talked about that Thursday, I believe. That, that we're free from the law of sin and death. So, what I wanted to pick on is the fact is, what you just said, what you and our Sherman was talking about, kind of lines up with this. Let's see here. Look, excuse me. Look at it, verse 6. To be cognitively minded is what? Death, right? To be spiritually minded is what? Life oh, and peace. peace. And what I'm saying is that spiritually minded means to be word minded. And word minded means is regardless of how I feel, regardless of what it looked like, what I can lean on is what the word says about me. And about you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Somebody sit there, like you just said, it when, when somebody said, What do I think when I don't feel like I, 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 I'm saved, right? I, I, I don't feel like I got the right connection, right? Well, what a, that being spiritually minded is to say, is It is written that I'm saved. Because it, it told me that if I confess with my mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, I shall be what? Romans, because Romans 9, 10, and 9, right? Uh, that's what that scripture is quoted. You you know, you, 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 you agree with that, right? That scripture? You, you remember that scripture, right? Romans 10, 9, and 10? Yeah. Yeah. So, so what, what I'm saying is, spiritual minded is, what does the word say about me? What does the word say about you? When I, when I ain't got nothing else to lean on, lean on back on the word. It's, it's yeah. you know, kind of similar to when we was talking a few weeks ago when they went into the promised land. And, and so, go ahead. Uh, uh, to, to, to me, it's, it's most people, when I, I believe, when they think that when they don't feel safe and they get caught up in that, then you have to look at what they believe. Right, right. Because 
being spiritually minded and walking in the spirit is based on what you believe. But you so believe. You believe that your actions right. have consequence on your spirit, wow. then obviously you're not going to feel like right. you're or like, or should I say, like you're connected with God, right. like that you're walking in the spirit. That's the one that being connected to God, walking in the spirit, uh, uh, being equipped, being grafted into into the body of of, of Christ, all that is wrapped up in being saved. Uh-huh. Okay, being, being like existing. Oh, come on. Not doing, right? Not doing. Not acting. So, right. if you're looking at your actions and your actions don't line up with what you believe, a person who is being who is saved, right? Right. Because you have no faith. Come on. In the word of God. Yes. And you have you have little faith. So you may believe that you have been saved and have faith in that, uh-huh. but your faith wavers in that area. So that is the foundation of your relationship with God, is that you are uh-huh. saved. You because are- you have to first of all believe. In the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. You have to believe that He is the Son of God. Wow. You have to believe that He died for all mankind's sin. Come on now. Come on. You have to believe that on the third day He was raised from the dead. Come on. <laughs> you have to believe that he's not dead, that he is alive, and he is seated at the right hand of our Father God in heaven. Come on, come on, sir. Come on. Making intercessions for your non-belief, right, that you are dealing with right now. <laughs> Look, my friend, I like, I like to, let, let's, let's tell him. I think that, uh, what you're saying, I'm writing everything you're saying, because the Bible said we walk by faith, not by sight. It doesn't say we walk by our feelings. Yes. 